have been many feuds in the Street Fighter universe that we have encountered over the years. We have seen the feud of Chun-Li and Juri Han, both with different motives and different paths in life. But the most interesting feud in the whole Street Fighter series is the feud between Goken and Akuma. What is their story? What are the origins of their eternal rivalry? In this episode, we will narrow down important key points of their involvement with the Street Fighter series. We will also describe the relationship between Ryu and them. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. The official backstory of Akuma reveals that both brothers were students of Godetsu, a practitioner of the violent arts whose origins stem from Japan's feudal era, known as one of the only people capable of using the Satsui no Hado. Without falling into its deeper aspects, Godetsu was a master of martial arts of Goken and Akuma. Godetsu was skilled in both Anatsuken and Bochutsu, and possessed the secret arsenal techniques he had kept hidden away from his students. Goken and Akuma learned from Godetsu's techniques. Their fighting styles and methods gradually diverged as the two brothers developed different fighting styles. The more Akuma embraced and mastered the killing and dart aspects of the art, the more he succumbed into the Satsui no Hado, or the surge of murderous intent, and wanted to fully utilize it to gain more power and influence. Goken, in contrast, developed his own style of the art, removing the Satsui no Hado, turning weapons such as the Hadoken and Shoryuken into tools for self-defense, eliminating their killing potential. As a result of succumbing into the Satsui no Hado, Akuma battled and killed Gotetsu for failing to embrace the Satsui no Hado to its full extent. He also left behind his master Dojo and brother to train alone for even greater gains. Prior to Gotetsu's death, Goken found and adopted Ryu, an abandoned orphan. Then Hibiki would later become Goken's first student. Nevertheless, Goken discovered from Dan that he wanted to learn this martial art for revenge and rejected him for his intentions, fearing that his grudges would lead him on a dark path. Later, a young man, Ken Masters, was sent by his father, a good friend of Goken, to study humility, respect, and discipline. His father, a rich hotel tycoon owner, thought that his son needed to learn about discipline, or his son would become a spoiled brat all of his life and try to leech onto the Masters' family fortune. Akuma appeared at Goken's dojo. After Goken had begun to train the boys, Goken was challenged to a fight by Akuma. While Goken had soundly defeated Akuma, the brother spared him even after Akuma insisted he should be killed. After Akuma's arrival and departure, Goken continued to train the two boys. Over the years, Goken's student grew as individuals, and his two students graduated from his tutelage, becoming proficient enough to leave the dojo and travel the world, to acquire new skills and become better. Afterwards, Akuma reappeared at Goken's dojo and challenged his brother to a rematch. Akuma emerged victorious with a Shun Goku Satsu, allegedly killing Goken in the act. Despite this, Goken was only left in a deep coma due to a similar technique Gen uses, which emptied his soul of emotions. Due to his lengthy period of unconsciousness, Ryu and Ken believed their master had died and buried his body. In Street Fighter 4, when Goken awakens two years later, he leaves his dojo and follow his students, delighted by their achievements. In order to test their strength, he decided to enter the new SIN tournament rather than just watch them. Following Seth's defeat, Goken successfully finds Ryu and seals the Satsui no Hado, so Ryu never has to suffer with the power again. After Goken had completed his task, Akuma appeared. Soiled with bitterness, Akuma convinced himself he would no longer be able to fight Ryu. Akuma realizes that the power Goken used to seal it was the power of nothingness. The power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective, born through spiritual and mental refinement, bearing common traits with state of being within Buddhism, martial arts, and spiritual perfection, it is the power to act without being attached to emotions and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego, to draw upon the contents of one's heart intuitively without obstacle and hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within its vastness, to flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, and doubt. It is the complete opposite of the Satsui no Hado. As such, it can only be used by a person of pure mind, compassion, mercy, and peace. Such a person must have embraced the peaceful and spiritual aspect of the art to their fullest extent. Just like the Satsui no Hado, it makes a person unbelievably powerful, granting invincibility, spiritually and physically, 
to many attacks, as well as sealing off evil power and making the user a stronger fighter. The brothers then face off in another rematch, with Ryuzu's fate at stake, and Jen watching the fight in amazement. The exact outcome of the fight is unknown, though it is known that both survive, and that Ryu does not go to Akuma, so it could possibly be implied that Goken may have won. Ryu and Ken ask Goken to stay with them a while, but Goken tells them that they are both grown men and no longer need a master. Goken and Akuma's rivalry is just based on the principles of how a martial art should or should not be used. Each of their paths represent a symbolic significance to our daily lives. We have two choices to make. Either we as people learn how to manage ourselves in a positive manner, or we have the option to totally be consumed by the dark aspects of what surrounds humanity. The power of nothingness is also known as the Mu Noken in Japanese. It is also known as the Kyosui no Hado, meaning surge of mindless intent, or the sacred Hado. It is a light-based energy force used by Goken, Ryu, and to a certain extent, Ken Masters. The power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective, born through spiritual and mental refinement, bearing common traits with states of being with Buddhism, martial arts, and spiritual perfection. It is the power to act without being attached to emotions and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego. To draw upon the contents of one's heart intuitively, without obstacle and hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within its vastness. To flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, and doubt. It is the complete opposite of the Satsui no Hado. As such, it can only be used by a person of pure mind, compassion, mercy, and peace. Such a person must have embraced the peaceful and spiritual aspect of the art to their fullest extent. Just like the Satsui no Hado, it makes a person unbelievably powerful, granting invincibility, spiritually and physically, to many attacks, as well as sealing off evil power and making the user a stronger fighter. Goken has practiced with this power throughout his years of training with Gotetsu, and after he had completed his training and left his master to begin with his own dojo, he is the only one who has used this power in battle in the games, as shown by his Shin form. Shin can be written using different kanji characters and can mean true, extend, or new. Ryu and Ken have awakened this power, but only Ryu has mastered it as of the events of Street Fighter V, capable of using it to render his soul, incapable of consumption by Nikali, and capable of defeating M. Bison's psycho power. The psycho power is a negative, psychotic, and evil energy that increases the user's abilities, strength, and stamina. Psycho power feeds off the fear, anger, and the hatred of others. This energy can also affect the skin, body color, eyes, and hair of people. At the ending of A Shadow Falls, there's an implication that Ryu had mastered the power of nothingness, as the Hadouken used to defeat M. Bison gives off an aura seemingly consistent with the power. Ryu identifies the power of nothingness, not as the power to defeat one's enemies, but as the power to grow in skill, completely distinct from the Satsui no Hado. In Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, the power of nothingness is one of the central concepts to the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Having seen what the Satsui no Hado did to his brother, and believing that there must be another way to tap into the chi needed for the Anatsuken, Goken travels the world. Years later, he explains to his students that during his travel, a kung fu master named Jen set him on the path to unlocking the power of nothingness. And it is this power that Goken teaches them to tap into for their arts, completely altering the school's tradition. The idea that Jen showed the path to this power to Goken, as proposed by Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, would explain how both were able to survive Akuma's Shun Goku Tatsu. The game storyline explains that both were able to empty their soul in time. Emptying oneself of everything takes extreme discipline. However, they express disbelief that it can be done instantaneously in the middle of battle. Ryu mentions that his chi in his state feels cool, while Ken states that he feels hot. In early training, Ken seems to be stimulated by following a particular meditative kata which presents more difficulty and less speed of progress than following another kata, which stimulates the Satsui no Hado, but it's purer. 
Kata is a Japanese word meaning form. It refers to a detailed choreographed pattern of martial arts movements, made to be practiced alone. It can also be reviewed within groups when training. It is practiced in Japanese martial arts as a way to memorize and perfect the movements being executed. In the Udon comic book series, Street Fighter Unlimited, Ryu enters a state he calls Shinryu by merging the Satsui no Hado with the power of nothingness, bringing balance to his light and his dark chi. As Shinryu, he was able to finally defeat Ikuma. Ryu's appearance in this form is mostly the same. The only noticeable changes are to his left eye, which glows red, as well as the occasional flare of a red and blue aura. The power of nothingness is the inverse of the Satsui no Hado, also known as the surge of murderous intent, or surge of killing intent, sometimes translated as the Dark Hado. It is a dark, energy-based force that is known for its use by Akuma. For the people who do succeed in harnessing the Satsui no Hado, they become extremely powerful, but at the cost of losing their humanity and compassion. They develop a cold, negative outlook in life, a nihilistic detachment from themselves, as well as other people, and develop an obsessive, dark, murderous, and even suicidal desire to fight. What the Satsui no Hado is rarely gets talked about in the mainline games. However, it is described as taking the spirit to kill the opponent to the extreme. It transforms into a physical power. According to Seth in Street Fighter 4, The Ties That Bind, his definition of the Satsui no Hado describes it as a power rooted in the darker natural basis of the human instinct, including competition, survival, to trample on, impose, and thrive over opposition, and the manifestation of destruction born out of conflict and fighting. The Satsui no Hado made its first debut alongside Akuma in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. During the events of Street Fighter V, the Satsui no Hado within Ryu was being called out by the consumer of soul. In martial arts, the Dark Hado, as it appears in the Street Fighter universe, is a form of Chi. What is Chi? How does it work? Chi is the energy that is inside you and around you. It is the energy that you use to breathe, to eat, to talk. It is the energy that moves the waves in the ocean, the plants to grow. More than that, Chi is the energy that makes you and everything around you feel alive. Everyone manipulates their inner Chi. We see evidence of it when we breathe, when we talk, walk, eat. Any action you do can be considered a small manipulation of your Chi and the Chi around you. However, the use of this Chi in our daily life is managed inefficiently. For example, you might use more energy on running than walking. Proper management of this force needs balance, and that is where martial arts training comes in. In martial arts training, you can train to have a better control of the use of your chi. As you might know by now, chi is the energy you use to punch, kick, attack, and defend. This can be obtained by learning different types of postures and movements of any desired style of fighting art. Each style of martial arts is a form of how one uses its potential without draining one's energy. In other words, using techniques that will require minimum energy with maximum potential. An example of a technique is the breaking of a wood plank with your palm in karate, using your body's momentum to bring an opponent down in judo. You can see full-on experienced martial artists do repetitive moves like the ones mentioned without draining their energy supply. Even though an experienced martial artist can get to the level of focus and energy that is required, it still requires that his moves and forms be influenced by other emotions. Emotions in fighting is a double-edged sword. If a fighter cannot control its emotions, he is more bound to lose a fight than an opponent that has great balance between energy and emotions. Having conflicting emotions during a fight may take the fighter lose more energy on itself and its opponent. That is why it is important for a fighter to fully develop a balance between both the control of their movements and their emotions. Fully developing this balance, an experienced martial artist can then push the boundaries of its power. In the Street Fighter universe, extensive training of your chi can go beyond the human capabilities. For example, a fighter can use its own chi to draw energy from the earth 
It can give the user ability to sense and absorb chi from its surroundings. Use teleportation, float, fly, and throw it in like a form of a fireball-like punch, aka a Hadouken. This is where the Dark Hado comes into play. To get a better understanding, the Dark Hado, or in Japanese, the Satsui no Hado, is a dark possessed surge of power that is deeply rooted into the person's instinct of survival and in position over its opponent. It is the desire to use hatred and rage to fuel victory in battle. The Dark Hado is beneficial in tapping the most obscure power available. It is also very lethal for an untrained mind to handle the capabilities of such power. Such as why the dilemma facing Ryu, in which he does not want to be consumed by this type of power. His training is based on the concept of meritorious intent and the power of nothingness, which is not having any strong feeling towards your opponent. It's based on developing oneself as a martial artist and a human being. This practice focuses on emptying your mind and controlling your energy in fight to inflict as little as damage possible to your opponent. The total opposite of what the Dark Hado requires. For the fighters who succeed in controlling the Dark Hado type of power, and becoming powerful, changes in their outlook on life appear. Loss of human empathy and compassion, rise in negativity, dark and obsessive nature of murderous intent. Under the Dark Hado's influence, a character's eyes will glow red and their teeth will turn into sharp fangs as the body of their skin darkens over time. Their hair will also turn red to white and their nails will turn into claws. The voice of the character will become deeper. If one embraces it to a lesser degree, their eyes will glow blue. If one balances the Dark Hado and the power of nothingness, the character would be in complete control and balance of its power. However, if one has used it to their fullest extent for too long, they cannot be released from its hold and will transform into a supernatural entity, becoming one with the Dark Hado. Once a character is in this state, a union between hatred and fighting technique will create an aura of destruction, leaving all human feelings of compassion and empathy behind, technically becoming a demon-like figure. The Dark Hado character, who wields this power, has also the special ability to talk and speak with others telepathically, gain a healing factor, manipulate the soul of an individual, and can even control the weather. We can understand that the Dark Hado is the ultimate weapon in the Street Fighter universe. While some characters want to embrace its total power, other characters like Ryu tend to go a different route. Certainly, we can see the Dark Hado as a powerful weapon, used on the principles of hatred and destruction. But the Satsui no Hado is just a state of mind. It is a form of how powerful our mind and emotions are. I see it as a symbol of the power that lies in you, that when used to its maximum effect, it can produce outstanding results. I think if managed in a balanced state like Gotetsu, one can withhold its power without being consumed by its evil force. In this episode, we have discussed the essence in martial arts of the origins of the Dark Hado, translated in Chi, and how its power is born by the energy in you and around you. We also discussed the power and abilities that this force brings to the Street Fighter universe and the physical and mental changes of the Dark Hado. Without proper management, the Dark Hado can make a character lose its sanity. We have also run down the pros and cons of its existence. So what did you like about this episode? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of this Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.